Previously on Two Up and Overloaded, we started the day at sea level in the oceanside city of Kota Kinabalu in East Malaysia. But our mission that day was going to be one of epic proportions, because after exploring a hidden jungle waterfall that we found along the route, We were now headed up and up, taking our little KTM 250 to complete the challenge of going from sea to sky. It's an elevation rise of 1,900 meters, or 6,200 feet, all in one day. As we were headed to the highest point we could go by road, to the highest town of Borneo, next to the tallest mountain of the island, Mount Kinabalu. At 4,095 meters, or 13,435 feet tall, Mount Kinabalu is one of the most visually prominent mountains in the world, jutting out of the earth not far from the coast like a spire to the sky. And because it's situated on the equator, our motorcycle climb began in the steamy hot tropics at sea level and was going to end in a frigid alpine climate all in one day. This was going to be a ride for the ages. It's a big ant, and it bit me, and it really, really throbs. Oh, right here. Ah. Oh. Don't do that. You come to Borneo. No, <laughs> oh. And so we left Mwaha Waterfalls and took off towards the mountains. Mwaha. That's how you pronounce it. That's better than Mahuha. <laughs> Just the behind the scenes here, Marissa keeps on telling me to say this sentence. And it's got the Muhahaha waterfalls in it, and I can't say it. And she just tortures me. I just maniacally laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and I look over to see if, if I got it right. None, none of the times have I said it right. But I always get the same like little sneering eyes. <laughs> and so we left the waterfalls and headed towards Kinabalu. Yeah! Suddenly, we made a turn in the road, and for the first time, we saw it. Hey everyone, nice to have you here. We are Tim and Marissa no tear. I ride in the front and I'm in the rear. We travel the world and we pack too much gear. Oh. All the places, places we'll go, go Through rain and through sleet and through mud and through snow Oh, all the, the things, things we'll see. see We've been to a country or two Or three Oh, all the, the fun, fun we've, we've had. had You have you along would make us real glad So give us a like and, and hit subscribe, subscribe To join us along our epic ride There was just this roadside view of Mount Kinabalu yeah. that we came across. That is Mount Kinabalu. It was amazing. And to be honest, we didn't, at least I didn't know, 
that it was Kinda Blue at first. Maybe you knew. I knew. Because she's smart. <laughs> but well, it it's really the only big, big, big mountain there. Yeah, but it was so far away in the distance, it was hard to tell its height. That's true, and it's not like a volcano that just is yeah. like that. It does have a rounded shape from that angle. And at the very top, it's very jaggedy. Yes. That's how I knew it was Mount Kinabalu, mm -hmm. mostly, is because I'd seen all these pictures of those jagged spires on the very spine of the, vault, or of the mountain itself. Yeah. We are so lucky to be here at this moment with the clouds have cleared for the most part. You just have that little tiny bit of clouds at the top of the mountain. You can see it, it's sunny, the different colors of the hills and the foothills in front of it. It is one of the tallest mountains from base to height in the world. I had never heard of Mount Kinabalu before coming here, but now it is got a special, special place in my heart. This is really unique because most mountains are part of ranges, right? And there are other smaller mountains and hills around, but Kinabalu is like the king of them all. And yeah. it is apparent from every angle you go, it is the one, the big, the massive mountain that just sticks out of the earth and everything else is just small and tiny in comparison. And still, uh, yeah, I had no idea. So we were really hoping for more good weather as we continued on the road to get closer and closer and up and up the mountain. Uh, it started to get a little cooler, which I like, and then yes. it gets a little too cold. Like we <laughs> love each other and we're always in the same like environment, but if <laughs> I'm comfortable, she's freezing. And if she's comfortable, I'm hot. But, yeah, uh, pretty much. We layer accordingly on the right. motorcycle. And Southeast Asia has been in my favor. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> pretty much it's all hot. the time. I can't get more naked on the bike. No. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we have our super awesome climate mesh gear that where all the wind just goes right yeah. through. So it's perfect for these really hot climates. But when you get that high up in altitude and it starts getting cool, it's like... It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect for Tim. And, yeah. you know, you have to give it to him because he's just sweltering most of the time. So this I'm like, true. all right, now he's in his climate, in his comfort zone. Indeed. There are many myths surrounding the name of Kinabalu. It is most likely derived from the local Dusun phrase Aki Nabalu, meaning revered place of the dead. But it can also come from the Dusun phrase Kinabalu, meaning have mountain. The place of the rising dead sounds <laughs> cooler than like Revered, have revered place have of mountain. the dead. Yeah, I know, it probably is have mountain. <laughs> But yeah, I yeah. like the revered place of the dead, of course. But yeah. no matter what the meaning of the name is. It's fun to say. Kinabalu is just Kinabalu. an awesome word. Yeah. Yes. It, to me, it means like, good morning, have a wonderful day in some foreign language yet to be. I love it. Yeah. It I, just rolls off the tongue. It does. Kinabalu. Kinabalu. Kinabalu to you Kinabalu. Very cool indeed. Yeah, it doesn't look like a jungle mountain. No. Now it looks like Jagged, craggy Yeah, well, there's a whole bunch of bibbidi bops. And so, this next stretch of road was going to be the last final leg on our journey from sea level up to the highest point you can go to by road on the island of Borneo, and that is to the town of Kundasan.
and a lot of the roundabouts that we go through, you know, they're they slow down traffic when you get into big cities. And they'll have like the dirty and, and like other fruit and like, you know. Artwork, art, statues. Yeah, you know, yeah. cool like, you know, sculptures. And this town had like a big old cabbage. <laughs> Like, what should we make the centerpiece <laughs> representing our town? You know, there's this beautiful mountain, there's glorious <gasps> views, rolling hills, and they're like, the cabbage. The cabbage, or there's an endive, vote. yep, vegetables. Yep. There were hotels all across that town, and it is a very popular spot for hikers mainly who yeah. want to hike the mountain. Mount Kinabalu is a very popular mountain to climb because it's an extremely tall mountain at 4,095 meters or 13,435 feet. But it's also relatively easy to climb compared to other mountains of similar heights. It only takes a day, but you must be accompanied by a guide and it is limited to 130 people per day. So you have to reserve your spot ahead of time. Not of respect, we did not climb the mountain so <laughs> other people could enjoy it. Out of respect. Well, yes. truly we're not really big on truly. climbing huge mountains. We'll hike, you know, small hikes, but small hikes. Um, yes. We bought we, a motorized vehicle. Yeah, we like motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> But we passed the town of Kundasang because we were headed to a viewing point, which was called Sosodikon Hill. And to get there, I didn't realize this, but the road itself to get up to the hill was crazy. And I can assume that big cars maybe took a different route, I would yeah, hope. Yeah, I don't think they're, they could have done it. Yeah, every corner I was like, man, I hope there's not a car because I, you know, I don't know where we'd go. This road was narrow. It was slippery because there was like mud and puddles and parts that were just dirt and it was steep. Yeah, it was super steep. Beautiful scenery out there, right? But I'm on this like little narrow road, and so I yeah. I can't like just stare off into the beauty, or we like ET off the side <laughs> of the mountain, and it's a rented KTM, so I didn't want to mess it up. But <laughs> speaking of the little 250, it did 250 great adventure, man, that bike can rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. The smaller bikes are fun sometimes. Yes. You know, it's not this big cumbersome. Meatloaf, you're trying to steer around <laughs> stuff, you know? And it was, it was really nice. Yeah. It wasn't quite like the BDRs back in the States, you know? But it was a beautiful view. Mm -hmm. And some, there were some dirt roads and there was some technical stuff and it was amazing. And it totally reminded us of some of the roads on, on the BDR, the backcountry discovery routes. Yes, and so we dedicate this road to Emmaus Moto Tours. Emmaus Moto Tours takes you on BDRs, the backcountry discovery routes, which are some of the best roads in the United States. Everyone knows this, they're just incredible, but it is really, really awesome to go with fellow motorcyclists and a guide who knows where the really tough parts are, what you can do, and to just help you get along the road. This is true, help you lift your bike back up if you fall. Yes. Yeah. So be sure to check them out at EmmausMototours.com and look at all the really awesome places they'll, they'll take you. Finally, we made it to this parking lot. And yeah. from there, there was going to be a hike up to this viewpoint at the top of Sosodikon Hill. We are at a viewpoint in Sosodikon. And right now the clouds have parted. You can see the top of Mount Kinabalu. 
but there's a lot of stairs to go up for this viewpoint. So here we go. It was a viewpoint of the mountain. Yes. Right? And like, we just told you we're not big hikers of like climbing mountains. <laughs> and like, this is a piddly dink hike, <laughs> walk up to see the mega thing that people like experienced hikers go up. <laughs> and this thing was killing me. Yeah, this was a tough hike. <laughs> this, not useful. <laughs> They have like handrails mm -hmm. and they're made out of like whoop, 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 yeah, super you know? flimsy. Like super it's pointless. almost more dangerous to have them because you might Indeed. think that they could be useful. It's like a parachute with a bunch of holes in it. It's like, <laughs> well, thank, thank God for the backup, huh? This railing is even worse than the previous one. But yeah, we climbed and climbed and huffed and puffed our way up to the viewing point. <laughs> it was gorgeous, it though. It was super. landscape completely changed. Not only was it high altitude and windy and cool out, mm -hmm. but the jungle trees had all disappeared. It was like rolling grasslands. Yeah. So this here is the backside of the viewing platform, but it's really a cool landscape. I mean, these hills, it's not the jungle that you think of when you think of Borneo. We're so high up in altitude that it's now just like these rolling pastures and grasslands. Look at this. I mean, it could be Scotland? Iceland? Probably not. But it reminds me a little bit of that. And once we got all the way to the top, there was a bunch of, you know, local people and Malaysians and stuff, and we got to chit and chat with them. Everybody loves a selfie. Yeah. And uh, it was just, it's really nice to be able to breathe in that fresh air. Mm. The sun was going down pretty quickly, and so we knew we had to get back and find a hotel. We didn't even have a hotel booked for that yeah. night, so we knew if we couldn't find one that would be pretty bad, we'd better get on it. Bye. Peace. We headed back down the hill. It was steep coming down, but yeah. beautiful. Dorco would not be able to do this. Dorco would never be able to do We got back down into the town of Kundasang and found a hotel right away that was spectacular. Insane. Oh my goodness, we found the most wonderful little hotel. Look at this view. Mount Kinabalu on our balcony. Oh my goodness, it's so great. I, I couldn't be more pleased with how today has gone. It has been so, so incredible. Oh, I'm so glad that we get to share this with you. It's such a wonderful journey and I love Borneo. <laughs> The view from the balcony. Yeah, she said, you know, how about one of these rooms? I'm like, I don't know, sure, show us, whatever. And you open up like this little cottage and it's mm. insanely beautiful. And then you open up like this, uh, the door to this little balcony and there is Kinabalu. <laughs> Kinabalu. Kinabalu. 
So amazing. <laughs> yes, so right there in all of its glory. And there's blankets on the bed. There was no AC needed nope. because we were at Need altitude. Mm -hmm. And it was, I was like, yep, I don't care how much it costs, please, you know, <laughs> book us. It was a, a definite heck yeah, we're staying here moment. That night, as a celebration for all of the incredible writing that we had done that day and all the wonderful things that we had seen, we had a lovely dinner yes. at a place as the sun set and it turned into night. The sky lit up in a there's electrical a, storm. Yeah, so there's all these flashes going around yeah, really and cool. like it would flash behind the, the scenery of the hills and so it's like a corny like cartoon he-man or something and gray skull <laughs> in the distance with the lightning she had no idea about gray skull no. but anyway some of you do but it was just this epic you know purple flashes across the sky with hills in front of it and just really 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 a beautiful sight that day we had completed our mission of going from sea level to the highest point by road in Borneo. We saw incredible views of the mountain Kinabalu. <laughs> Look where we are! Look at how beautiful yeah, it is. You can right just there. see the feet. Three little tips. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. But perhaps the best of the mountain was yet to come. And we were headed to another great milestone of East Malaysia and the Pan Borneo Highway, reaching the very tip of Borneo and discovering a completely different side of the island. But all of that will be in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. And if you would like to support us here and our travels and our channel, then you can check out our Patreon link in the description below where you get early access to our videos, ad-free, some exclusive Patreon-only videos, and you can get a postcard sent to you from wherever we are in the world. This is true. And it also has early access to the podcast Yes! version of our episodes, which is new. So check out our podcast. You don't have to be a patron to listen to our podcast versions of the episodes. You can just find them on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, any of those. Just search Two Up and Overloaded. So thank you so much for watching and we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. Finally, we made it to this parking lot. And yeah. from there, there was going to be a hike up to this viewpoint at the top of Soso Dicon Hill. We just told you we're not big hikers of like climbing <laughs> mountains. And, and this thing was killing me. Yeah, this was a tough hike. But I think mostly it was tough because we were wearing motorcycle boots. This is true. <laughs> And our jackets and our pants. I think we did. We take our pants off. I don't even recall. Not me. Not you. No. <laughs> no so insists that she wears pants. <laughs> For me, it's optional.